Alright, it's time for me to discuss Ben's flaws in his videos. To start it off, Ben does not seem to view all the shows completely. Like, he was missing some information about a certain shows and it seems like he's only been, been watching the show for at least 5 minutes or less. Ben, if you're going to make a rant or make a review of a certain show, be sure that you check out the show for at least 15 to 30 minutes to find out if the show is good or bad in your perspective. Also, when it comes to reviews and rants, you have to be sure that you find an honest resource to find out more information about the topic that you wish to discuss. Another thing that really bothered me is that you seem like a really a big time fanboy when it comes to Mickey Mouse and a hypocrite at times. Like when he mentioned about Have a Laugh, Remixed, and Blam. He talked about them for like practically longer than a solid minute or two and in actuality he could have talked about all three of them in that time span. What made Ben a hypocrite at some point is when he talked about Phineas and Ferb and how much he liked it so much but then suddenly talked about how bad the voice actors were before Candace and Jeremy. Now if some of you actually got to see the show Phineas and Ferb you should know that the voice actor for Candace and Jeremy isn't as bad as Ben says they are. I'm pretty sure most of you would agree with me when I say that Mitchell Musso and Ashley Timsdale are professional enough voice actors to make the English voice actors Bakugan and freaking Beyblade Metal Fusion shit in their panties. Now that I got the issues out of the way, it's time for me to share my thoughts about Puffy Zillman number 4. Despite all, all the stuff I said about him, I still think he can improve. I still think he can make better videos and yeah, better rants and commentaries and stuff. If that is if he ever does any commentaries. For example, when he talks about his so-called Ben salutes of whatever, he gives up full details of the show. And music and some other stuff he talked about. Like, he could have done the same thing with his rants. Yeah, sure his freaking comedy still needs work, but at least it shows that he can be just as good of uh, a rant or a commentator or whatever, just as good as Roshutsu and Ram Wars. Ben, aka Puffy Zillerman, if you're watching his video like you've seen the other parts of the commentary, then I s just know that I still believe that you can improve on these uh, kind of things, okay? I still believe that you can, you know, entertain people a lot more without actually pissing off anybody. As long as you have complete and proper information, and as long as you don't go overboard like you normally do, you won't have anybody biting you in the ass about whatever you uh, whatever you did wrong. Please take consideration on what I mentioned throughout the commentary. And just so you know, just because you made some nice comments in a proper manner does not excuse you from acting like an outrageous jackass just because things doesn't go your way. Otherwise, you're gonna have the same fate that Game Dude had. Now, before I put this commentary to a close, I I need to address something. At some point during the commentary, it turns out I too was also a hypocrite. If you actually pay close attention to part three and four of my commentary, you'd notice what I mean. When he started talking about Good Luck Charlie, I didn't know jack shit about it. But in part 4, I used the video clips of Good Luck Charlie just to show how much Ben had messed up in his rant. That's actually something I should have done in part 3. Also, whenever I kept telling him to do research and stuff, it turns out that I should have done the same. Like the Hannah Montana Forever thing. It turns out I was just dead wrong about that. It's not just the soundtrack, but also the TV show as well, so I'd really apologize. And thanks to Milkman2679Z, he helped me understand how much of a hypocritical dumbass little douche I can be. Thanks a lot, friend. Thank you so much. But in any case, I'll make sure I don't make a mistake like that again. So, take care, see you later, and say hello to the hungry wolf.